The project ACMA, which means Advancing Knowledge on Methane in the Arctic, is a project which has been granted by the Norwegian Research Council. During these days, we are going to survey all these areas to answer this question, how much methane is released from uh, the Arctic Ocean. We are using several instruments from REV, particularly the ROV, the Remotely Operated Vehicle, Aurora. She's giving us the possibility to collect uh, samples and uh, data. It is very fascinating what we observe every time at the bottom of the ocean. We have been studying different group of organisms which live where we see these uh, natural emissions of methane, but we don't know all of them yet. We will apply DNA barcoding and metabarcoding. What does it mean? That we will take some samples on which we will do genetics because we really want to know which are the organisms that are living there. We have brought on board the students from different parts of the world. They always bring uh, enthusiasm, curiosity, passion, and it's really a tribe uh, also for us. We have also engaged with the schools and the local community in different countries. And the reason for that is because at a certain point we understood that uh, the science that we were doing could uh, inspire the next generation of scientists. We managed to collect a whole range of organisms from different taxonomic groups. It is pretty clear that we found quite a few things that we were not able to identify on board, which we are quite excited about. These methane seeps are of course really unusual areas, which provides a lot of opportunities for, for new life to evolve. The other question we have is how the chemistry of the environment is changing and how these bubbles that are rising are affecting the sediment and the organisms that are living nearby. How the fluxes are, if they are continuous, maybe ephemeral, we are observing that they are coming up and then at a certain point they stop. So why is that? Are they related to tide? Are they related to other geological processes? This is something that we would like to understand better during this expedition. The biggest achievement has been definitely the discovery of the mud volcano Borealis. It was uh, exceptional to see geological processes for real, how our planet is breathing. We're used to study these uh, examples on textbooks, but uh, observing these uh, processes at the bottom of the ocean has been really unique, something that doesn't happen very often. If you're lucky, maybe once in a life. 